Good morning, guys. Dar sizzle and pudding coming at you bright and early this morning in our home waters. Boy, an inlet right behind us over here just came out. We are getting lines ready to send back here. I'm going to be at the wheel trolling. And we already got a couple of boats out here, but we're looking for uh, you know what. I don't want to say it. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's a beautiful morning. Uh, it's almost the weekend. We got a full moon coming, so that means Wahoo time. So we're going to troll it up and then maybe do some deep drop and sizzle. What do you think? That sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> We're going fishing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. We're getting up to trolling speed out seven knots. Quick update, guys. It is approximately late. It is 930 right now. Darcy stinks at fishing is the update. Basically, <laughs> literally did not catch a single thing. We trolled like 20 miles so far, or probably 15, 20. But we're going to run offshore now. We're going to see if we can find anything else and head out into the deeper waters. Plan B. Always have a plan A, B, and C. Yep. Right, especially this time of year. All right, guys, we just started running out. Came out to about 800 feet of water, maybe a little less, and we're finding all these weed patches everywhere. And when you're running offshore, you look for boats, and we saw a ton of boats in this area. Sure enough, stopped in here, and all of these weed patches are the size of houses, and there's tons of bait under there, which is what you want to see when you're out in the deep water. So I'm not sure if we're going to chunk or troll. But this is always a good sign to see. Now we're just gonna see if we can maybe see some dolphin or triple tail, you never know. Got a fish over here. Do the huge bar jack or a dolphin? Did it jump? No. Woo, we through something. these bar jacks. Hope it's something good. So much bait and stuff here. You got a mahi. Is it a keeper? Ryan. Let's keep him. It's close. Yeah, 21 to the fork. Nice. Nice, we found some mahi, guys. Nice. Well, at least we got some fish in the boat. First fish. That's a keeper. I'm nice. not going to complain about that. Getting a little sun. Barely in the belly, but whatever. Yeah. Schooly fish, barely. Again, time of year you're going to find these fish out here. But there could be all kinds of stuff under these patches. So let's get back on it. Yeah. All right. Let's jump. Well, this is what I caught him on. Well, I learned about a flyer. Whoop whoop, my tacos. Slowing down. Slowing down. Nice dolphin. All right. Woo! That's a nice one, babe. Keep him on. Uh. Keep that fish tight. So slow All again. right. All right. Just tell me what to do. You're good. You can slow down a little, maybe. Okay. Darcy gets so excited when there's a fish on. Yeah. You're over underneath that line. But why? You're underneath the. Yep. You're underneath. Yep. All right. Slow me down a little that, more. I can put that up high. Can you give me my new Darcyzzle uh, Mahi sunglasses for Darcy Cold Darcyzzle 30 so I can see better? Yes. I was on my phone when the Those line was off. Those are his Mahi sunglasses. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you. I need those because I couldn't see otherwise. All right. I want to protect my corneas too. All getting right. line? I'm getting a little line. It's taking a bit though. Yeah, right. so uh, caught that little mahi and we just been circling this area where it's really patchy and full of bait fish everywhere and that's what I like to see. Oh, I you really, can put it in, I'm sorry, you can put it in gear and put it to the right a little I'm in bit. in gear. And get the. the right. uh, I'm already in gear. I'm sorry, he's going to be up here pretty quick. So. Going to the right. Once you get a. Uh, I don't worry so much about that, but. You want to keep the boat in gear and tension on the line because when you're trolling and the fish hits that line, he's thinking about it, so much pressure and his lip really gets ripped, you know, like this. There he comes. Two dolphin, two dolphin on him. Oh no, it's right, one. We got one at a time. It's there one. is one next to him. Oh, is that a reflection? No, it's one, it's a reflection. All right, get on this side of this thing here, Sizzle. Is that the good banana? That's a good banana. He's going to be up here in a second. Here we go. That was a wacky gaff job, but we got him we in the boat. It wasn't. <laughs> perfect gaff job. You were front of the line and everything else. That's a nice fish. Not a bad fish. For summer, that's a great fish. This might just be another mahi video, guys. That's a good fish for today. That's a good fish for today. That's the size of the fish I lost on the last video, if you guys saw that. No, it wasn't that big. Yes, it was. All right. It's perfect. You got a lure. Oh, it's deep. I just put that lure in too. swallowed it, man. All right, nice fish. All right, guys, nice male mahi right there. Definitely a flipper, at least five pounds. Beautiful fish. But that's a nice fish for this time of the year, like we've been talking about summer months. Nice one. All right, guys, let me go over my trolling spread real quick. These hooded shirts work really awesome. They're available on the website. I put uh, two up here in my rod holders. And my kink, they call these kinkfish rod holders. But just tease. I don't use the outriggers, but it's just Darcy and I. Too much weed and it, it's just a lot more extra work for me and these seem to work fine, okay? Uh, on this corner, I got a, a planar bridle system with a blue and white sea witch, a blue and white uh, sea witch right with a strip. 
down in, oh, over here, I have a, uh, the lure that I just caught that fish on. It's an island or something or other. Down here, down the middle, I got an islander, not an islander, an island rod, a flyer. Works real well. On this corner is our standard uh, pink sea witch, okay? So pink sea witch on this corner, blue and white sea witch over there, okay? Again, on a bridle. And my outrider over here, or kingfish rod holder, is a islander, I like a little stubby one, which I really love those, okay? So just five lines. If you're running the fish, you're gonna catch the fish, okay? And, you know, again, for Darcy and I, when there's weed and we're filming and everything, this is very simple and, you know, catches some fish, okay? No big deal. You know, in the summertime, you know, a lot of guys wanna cut, pull ballyhoo, you know, it's like the staple, but, you know, you see how big these fish are. They're not gonna eat a ballyhoo, okay? Too big. And that's a lot of times they miss it, so I, I just don't pull a lot of ballyhoo. Oh, back to the ballyhoo. You wanna match the hatch. If you see flyers flying around, they're tiny. You know, a ballyhoo is, is three times the size of that thing. So, you know, I don't really care so much about the color. Uh, we love blue and white and pink, but um, I like to match the size of the bait. So we have little baits, because we see little flyers. We're now on to plan C. Failed <laughs> to catch a W Wahoo this morning. Came out, did some trolling. We did catch two mahi, not too shabby. Now we're gonna go do some deep dropping, which we haven't done in quite a while looking for some elusive tilefish. Yeah, super deep. I actually think we're on plan, we're going to plan B. This is kind of a plan C we threw in the middle for no reason. Could we saw some something. I don't know. No? Anyhow. Anyway. Whatever you think. Have options, yeah. guys. Have options. Yeah, well at least we stopped because we wouldn't have boat, fish in the boat otherwise. So it's kind of like, that was worth it. All right. So, Brian's reeling up the lines. We're gonna head over to our deep drop shot, fishing in very deep pitch black water. Let's go. All right, man, we're here. One of our spots we caught a fish before. The sizzle is in full deep drop mode. She's in charge of the very fancy commercial type, expensive reel we use for deep dropping and sword fishing. What are you doing over here, the sizzle? Sending down a smorgasbord. A smorgasbord? Yeah. Making a buffet for the fishes? Yeah. Juicy squids and bonita. Nice. Yeah. I see you're using your Smith's bait breaker knife. Yes. <laughs> Love it. All right. Now, got to get the rig set up and get baited up and let's send it to the deep. Nice. There's the rig. Basically, like a big chicken rig with five hooks on it. And we send it down, heavy tackle, and we see what we can catch. All right, let's drop. First drop. There you go. How, how heavy is the weight? Seven pounds. Seven pounds. Here it goes. Go for it. To the bottom we go. Oh, All right, first drop, guys. It's been a while since we've done this, so we're going to work out our kinks. Yeah. Just like any other fishing. I'm going to drive into the current. You want to drive faster you can, send it out way back. So it's kind of like you're fishing with a chicken rig. I'm going to drive forward, your weight's going to hit the back, bottom. And what's the depth? Then we're going to drift back. It's a thousand feet. Thousand right feet. A little deep for us. Woo! You're like a little shallower. I probably should have went heavier. I didn't probably. Realize Somebody else gave us a spot, so we're going to try it. Oh, we got to move spots. It's too much weed. The weed gets on your line, it just lifts it right up when you're 800 feet down. It, mm. you, know, you can't have it. I'm going to slowly pick it up. All right, I think you got to fish on. It's very subtle. It takes this as training. I know everyone says it's electric. Yeah, there's, a, there's a fish on there. There's a fish on there. I don't know what it is. All right. Still, we're in a little shallower, still I want a ton you to of weed. start circling, watch this, watch this drift. All right, I'm circling, I'm circling. Always steer towards the line and around it. Oh, my own bottom. Oh, that's a fish, baby. All right, bring it in. That's a nice fish. I'm backing off on the drag. Might be a nice fish. Backing off on the drag here. All right. You see that, see that bump? Look at that. Yeah, it's nice. Mark where we are right now. It's, it's, we're, we have marked these rough spots. That's a night. Whatever this is, is something different than we, we usually catch. How much line catch. you got out? We got a lot, 1,300, 1,400 to go. Fish is on, bent over. All right, nice. Just try to zero out of this, whatever you, Okay, 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 I guess If you can. I mean, it is what it is. I just don't want to lose a fish on a goddamn, <laughs> on the weed. Watch the language. Oh my God, he's off. No, you're stuck in the dirt. You think? I don't know, fish Why was is it off. digging like that? I don't know. We don't know. We might have had a fish or it might have been stuck. Get the weight it's on digging, there. digging, dude. That was a fish. No, it's gone. The weight's gone? Yeah. Why is the there's weight no, gone? There's no... The weight's gone, dude. All right. Look how, the, look how there's no weight on that. All right, line. we'll see. The weight's gone, too. It's gone. 
Um, no, I think there was a fish on there and the whole rig broke. That was digging. The bottom doesn't hold like that. The bottom doesn't go like this. The bottom just pulls. Oh, it, just, right. it just pulls, but that, that was like bending. Like that was the most I've ever seen it bend over. All right, whole thing's off. Yep. So I feel like um, Dr. Cousins might have been a tie-up fish went in a hole or a grouper or something and just broke off. We'll never know, though. This is a rig I made, so now I feel like I'm maybe I broke it or something. But we will never know what happened. We'll never know. We'll try it again. That's why I bring more than one rig. Let's talk about how much money we lost on that drop. So the how lightest much? 20. How much weight's is the weight? probably 40, 50. The weight's 40 bucks? No. How heavy it's was the eight weight? eight-pound weight. We gave it 250, so it's 20 bucks for the weight. 20 bucks for the light, that's 40 bucks. Then these hooks are like 50 cents each or something like that, so. And all the bait. And, well, yeah, not that much bait. And then the swivels, the expensive swivels and everything else, so like a $50 rig we just lost. Yes, we did. But if you'd like to check out our, if you'd like to become a patron of Darcy's, <laughs> that's, that's the reason. <laughs> Thank you, patrons. We have some of you guys been patrons uh. forever. And we look forward to our next live stream. Dang it. Dang it. Don't know what happened there. It just looks like you're, like our, one of our knots pulled, honestly. Looks like my problem, maybe. We don't know. We don't wasn't know. That, wasn't there a loop on the end of that where it was all braided? All right, we got down again, same spot. Let's do it. Let's do it. Redemption. Oh, all close right, to see, the bottom. We've got a fish. Come on, baby, please come up. 800. That's a fish. Yeah. We're off the bottom. 770. Oh, yeah. Backing off the drag a little bit because that fish just dug. Just let him pull drag. I think he got fish. I think. I think there's rosies? I don't know. I have no idea. But the way that this rod has been over, it's not normal with rosies. I feel like it has a bit more of a pull to it today. I, I know everyone <laughs> always like, like, makes fun and says he's not really fishing, but let me tell you, you're tough, fishing a thousand man. feet down, like you have to have spots. Um, does that mean your battery's not working? Sorry. Let me just no, it's when you just low. Okay, okay. Go. So you know you have to have spots and you have to be able to feel the rod tip and, and keep the thing on the bottom. There's a lot involved. It's daytime sword pull. fishing. This isn't sword fishing, but it's the same, it's very similar. Daytime sword fishing is one of the hardest things you can do in fishing. Yeah. In saltwater fishing. Yeah. And, and that's I know this. you're using like an electric tool and you're not doing it yourself or whatever you want to call it, but you're doing everything else and you still have to learn how to fish an electric reel. Yeah. It's totally different than everything else. Very exciting. 270, 270 revolutions left on this, which is approximately basically a foot. So 250 feet to go. 200. Now it's really pulling. Now it's really pulling. That was like an actual pull. That was a pull. I'm backing off again. No. Don't He's fighting real good now. 180. You're crazy. Why is this fish fighting? <laughs> Hello. 170. Nice job. Come on, come on. A lot can happen between now and when this thing comes up. It can easily come <laughs> off. A million things could happen. Something could grab it. 96 feet. Sharks. Literally have no idea, but I'm so curious. 75. There we got color. Deep color, deep color. 60 feet. 50 feet. Oh my gosh, I think it's moved on what? 30, is. 20. It is. Yeah, it is. Brian, watch the top of the gap. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. We did it, Brian. <laughs> We're getting another one right now. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! We did it. We had a golden on first. Yeah. I told you. That's your biggest one ever. Sizzle, you did it. That's the biggest one you ever caught. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. Baby. So sick. Golden. So sick. And he ate the big bait on the bottom, man. Yeah, we put bigger baits on. Catch right. bigger fish. This Miami Mutt Man got is awesome. We just got him the triple hook rig. Let's get it out. We got a tile fish hole. <laughs> All it takes is a lot of time and patience on the water and coming out here many times. I think we've come out here twice over the summer and caught nothing. Like, we just, you gotta be out here. That's all I can say. Nice fish, man. That's a gorgeous tile. Look at this fish. Gorgeous fish, guys. I don't know how big that other fish was. Do you know? No. 
I would say this is upwards of 10 pounds, maybe a 12 pound nice. golden tile fish. Look how crazy he looks. Buries in the mud down in the freaking depths of the ocean where it is pitch black, can't see nothing. That's why their eyes are right on the top of their head so they can sit in their hole and look up the whole entire time. Gorgeous fish, baby. Let's go get one more. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Cold and tile, catch, clean, cook, and I'm dropping my food. All right, dry sizzle. All right, fourth drop. So we definitely at least confirmed we did have a fish on that first one that broke us off. Yeah. Who knows what it was. And then uh, dropped another time, but I don't think I was holding bottom correctly because I got weeded up quickly. And then that last drop was just perfection. So I need to do it again. The wind's picking up. Brian would rather go home, but this is how hardcore. Yeah, I'm going home because we have a very important call at Hair Club. This is how hard home about the new year. But this is how hardcore of a fisherman I am, guys. <laughs> like I will stay out here to the very last second. So go ahead if you can relate to that. <laughs> I am so proud of her, though. You know, she's the only again. She's the only one that touches this rod. Like, I, have, I don't even know how to use it. Like, I never pressed any of those buttons Brian or nothing. Brian doesn't, no. He's not lying. I'm not lying, and we specifically do that. He did make one of the rigs, though. Oh, yeah, I make the rigs, but I don't, like, fish it. I don't fish the rod. 1,300, we're just so, drop any So, you know, second. when people come start saying crap about Darcy, whether you can fish or not, you know, I, I've never touched that rod in my life. Like, I, don't, I literally don't know how to use it. Freaking lizards. All right, guys, that's what we deal with out here on a daily basis, which is why I constantly try to get rid of those things in my yard, but today, we're not worrying about that guy. We're gonna worry about this delicious tile fish. I tried to get as much slime off of him as I could, but uh, he's still pretty freaking slimy. But well, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Show you how to play my second ever golden that I've caught. Definitely worth it catching this fish. And by the way, Brian had a banana on board, so just goes to show you the superstition doesn't is not valid, at least in my opinion. Let's just dive right into this. We're gonna use my Darcizzle knives today, six inch knife. And we're just gonna cut them like any other fish. And this fish is actually easy to fillet. He's not too tough, but I'm feeling right here where the meat goes into the head and the hard and soft part so I can angle my knife correctly. And we're just gonna take our time with it. Get as much meat off this delicious fish as possible. Go all the way down his back, just like any other fish. But this fish doesn't really lose his color when he's dead. He's still really pretty with all those goldens on him and then wait till you see this meat, it's so special. All right, we're just getting right in there. I did try to bleed him out, but he didn't really bleed too much. But again, I'm not really too worried about it because this fish just has epic, delicious meat. Breaking right through those pin bones. Just gliding that bone, you see I'm really bending that blade, just getting right on those bones. Really wanna feel in those bones and your blade touching them as you fillet a fish. Absolutely gorgeous piece of meat right there. Woo! Well, you're gonna be eating good, doing something super special with it, and we'll make sure Pudding does. Switching to the nine, that way I can just go ahead and skin it right off. Sorry, the eight, not the nine. And the cool thing about this fish is they really don't have a bloodline, so it's gonna be pretty much a solid filet. We're not gonna be throwing away too much meat at all. But also wanna mention my website, guys. Um, Holidays are approaching really fast. I've got this brand new tarpon pendant on the website. If you're interested, jump on it. Highly recommend it because we're gonna be selling out of everything pretty quick this year. Fish hook and anchor bracelets, all that good stuff. So right now in the middle of the, the in the middle of the fish right here, there is a lot of bones. The bones go all the way to back here, believe it or not. So we are going to cut those out. So we're just gonna nicely outline it and knock that right out. And then we're gonna have two beautiful loins of a golden tile fish. Look at that. There we go. All right, look at that. Gorgeous. Got the big pieces of bones out. Got the delicious piece of golden tile fish here. I'm gonna finish the rest of this fish up. Maybe try even to take his cheek meat out, but we did a pretty good job there. And then I'm gonna meet you guys in the house for the cooking we'll put it portion of this video. Thanks so much to our sales. Another great job cleaning those fish for us. That tile fish uh, looks delicious. And I can't wait to dive in right here. I got a special recipe for you guys. Welcome, guys, to another edition of Cooking with Puddin', everyone's favorite segment of the show, I know. And now first, I see I got all the ingredients spread out here, guys. We are making a, uh, like a crumbled top dish. It's gonna be in the pan and then in the broiler around the oven. Come over here and take a quick look. Now you saw those big old uh, slabs that Darcy got off. I caught them. I cut them in half actually, because this is gonna 
get me some more uh, crumbly stuff on it and more spice on it, and it was just too thick, okay? And then we're gonna be dipping it in here. First, we're gonna put a little mayonnaise in here, a little coating of mayonnaise. If you guys are using mayonnaise for cooking, you're gonna use Dukes. You're not gonna use that helmet crap you give your kids, all right? Let's just put a little bit of this on here. This fish already has salt and pepper on it. We're gonna put a nice little a thin layer. This is just gonna hold on the crumble stuff. Nice, all right? Now the crumble stuff is mostly, we're gonna put the recipe down in the thing, down in the description of the video, of course, but this is mostly breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese. Got some butter in here and some garlic and some other stuff, but that's the gist of it. We can even coat it on here a little bit, maybe. Ooh, that looks good. That looks good. We got a pan preheat, let's put a little bit of this in here. Looking good. Swirl it around a little. Let's get another one of these fishes ready, sizzle. Darcy even did the cheeks. They got the cheeks here. It's gonna be sick. I don't wanna fill up my pan too much, so I'll probably do the other ones again. Alright, I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna put that in there for about two minutes. We'll be right back. Alright guys, about in about two minutes. Come in here and take a quick look. Oh, you probably can't get under there, but it's got a nice little brown coating on the bottom. We're gonna take it out. I got it on broil under here on high. Gonna put it right in here with this pan to get the top nice and cooked and nice and brown and crunchy. This dinner's gonna be ready in just minutes. All right, guys, I think it's ready. Oh my guys. Oh, do you see this? Oh my lord. Get on the next sizzle. Amazing. Amazing. Let's plate. Let's plate. I'll give you like half of this sizzle. Look at this. And how about a cheek? Nice. Look at this. Darcy's knife. Look at that. We got a little overcooked broccoli from yesterday. Oh, it's spilling everywhere. We, we live together. It's just fine. We just do it like this. Nice. All right. Let's take it to the table and try it out. Let's go. All right, this is a wait for me. She's diving in already. I'm trying to, but it's hot. <laughs> it's too hot. It looks so good. Really Incredible. Good. Go ahead. It's so hot. I'm having some cheek. It's super crispy. I love Incredible. it. Incredible. Tilefish is just one of the best fish you're going to get. Yeah. Super, you see how super white it is, tender. Yeah, I mean, we could have just had it, you know, salt and pepper, but we want to do something a little different. Yeah, and we always do. Topping that. is like the perfect combination with the fish and just crunchiness to it and buttery goodness, garlicky goodness. It's so good. Cheesy goodness. No good job by pudding. Crushing it. Yeah, that was awesome. So, can't get much better than that, guys. We are following our dream, and the fish that we do have left over, we already hooked up our neighbors. So, that's <laughs> yeah. kind of like what happens with the fish. Um, yeah, so that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on today's adventure. Until next time, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on catching. catching. Cheers. Mm, awesome. If you got a minute, check out one of these next videos and subscribe, like, share, comment, and watch for the cookbook coming out.